2017 and I feel like Oprah because I'm showing you my 10 favorite things that have like really, really improved my life. Something that can always be improved is safety in the vet box. And especially with Johnny, he gets pretty fidgety. He likes to keep moving. Um, and it can get kind of dangerous when you have a horse in there that needs to have their studs taken out. Um, and so you have to be really quick to take those studs out. And this wrench is really handy because you don't have to fiddle around with the size. You can just throw that wrench on the different size studs and it can come out really fast. And then that way the horses can keep moving and can be happy. So that is one thing that's really made a big difference um, for us in the vet box um, was the bionic wrench. So we've all had to fight with mats. If you're a horse person, if you have a horse trailer or in the stall, moving mats is just not a fun chore. Um, so it's always good to clean out your trailer after you've used it a lot and having this handy little doodad uh, this is an easy grip mat puller. Uh, they run about 20 bucks and this, it makes you have the strength of like a big dude. So it's really cool because you can just whip those mats around. Um, one thing for me is when I travel and I go to horse shows, I'm able to take extra mats in my trailer and I have some horses that are kind of naughty and will dig in their stall. So I was having to move these mats and it was a really big pain with just trying to pull the mats with your hands and your hands start to cramp and you get dirt all over you and it really is just a mess. But um, when, if I have this, it really makes a hard chore a really easy one. Tub of towels. Tubbo! It's tubbo, I say tub of. Tub of towels! I am a normal horse person with a very dirty truck and I have a husband who is allergic to dogs, which is kind of unfortunate for him because I have dogs. So I came across this and it's really handy because you have a lot um, of towels. They can work on anything. They work on breaking up grease so they're actually really good to have not just in your truck but in the barn or in your house um, and they're, they're good for your hands. They have aloe vera in them and uh, lanolin. Yeah, aloe vera and vitamin E to be exact. You know, everybody needs some tub of towels. You guys have probably seen this in, I talked about this in the last vlog that I did regarding bits. Uh, this is a uh, latex covering and I just find this is just super, super handy and it's made a big difference for my horses. It's, it's latex and so it's very stretchy, like so, and so you take it and you can wrap it around the bit. It also can work as well if you're in a pinch and you have a blister on your hand or something um, and you can wrap it around your finger. So I just like to have this in the barn in case I have a horse that gets pretty sensitive. But Seal Tex works really, really well. It's really cool and it's self-sealing. Um, really good for the horse's mouth. So the next thing that I really have enjoyed, it's made a huge difference, is Equivisor. I've used this uh, this year and it's really made a huge difference in covering my face. With our helmets, we don't have a lot of coverage. You might think you do, but this has done a really good job at keeping the sun off your face, not just during the summer, um, also during the winter. You would just, for us horse people, staying out in the weather, it can just take a toll on your face. So the Equivisor, it's made by Intrepid International, and it's really good because not only does it fit on your helmet, you can adjust it to any size, like so, and it just fits around on your helmet, and that's what it looks like. And also, if you're at a horse show and you lose your hat or something, the, uh, the Equivisor will fit on your head. So again, you can see it gives you so much coverage. This is called Power Grip Pedal Board Mounting Tape, and it's actually a type of Velcro. Um, but it's really strong, really heavy duty. And this has come into handy with my helmet cams. Um, especially since my helmet strap actually, they, they decided that that was not safe because it kept the helmet cam too rigid for if the helmet was to smack. Um, the helmet is designed to protect your head and your brain and not to have it interfering things. So this is really handy because it gives the strength and stability for my helmet cam 
but it um, is also safe because my GoPro will just pop right off. You can actually see where I have my tape mounted and I have my Velcro, the power grip, attached to the mounting. All I have to do is it might not look like it has a lot of coverage, but that's the great thing about this, is you place it here, like so, and then it can just pop right off. And that's just, that's just really safe. And there's no jiggling. All of my videos have been very, I've been really, really happy with the stability of this and the safety of it. This has been a big upgrade that I've done this year. Um, this is the GoPro Session 5, and it has done an amazing job. And again, this is, this is the holder it comes in. Clip it in, and then attach it to your helmet, and there you go. Good to go. That's how it looks. So this has made a big difference in the quality. It's got uh, internal stabilization, which has been wonderful to where my mom can actually watch my videos because she doesn't get seasick. So I shoot everything, all of my helmet cams are done in 1080p and then uh, it's in a super wide frame and at 60 frames per second. So it makes for a really pretty shot. It's just really heavy duty, it's waterproof um, and it does a good job of canceling the wind noise which can be rather annoying. So I just love this thing. It's so easy, just one, one press on the button to turn it on one press to turn it off. You can hook it up to your iPhone so you kind of know what your view looks like and it's just GoPro's done a good job with this. The back up uh, correction brace and uh, being a rider we can have uh, back problems. I know I have lower back and then I got a really bad crick in my neck uh, starting off this summer and I was having a lot of problems with it. And I'm also pretty bad about slouching. It's a bad habit that it drives me nuts. Um, so this brace I liked because it was pretty um, easy to use. It's kind of like a backpack strap. Stick it, sorry, I got lots of jackets on today so it might be a little hard. You put it on like so, you can adjust your straps up here to give you more space. And then you put the strap on on the bottom and it helps you not roll your shoulders. So you can ride in this. I've done a lot of riding in it to help remind you to keep your shoulders back. It can actually work underneath your riding jacket as well. And um, does a good job just helping relieve some of the pain that you might get into in correcting the posture. So Slippery Elm I've found to be really, really good for my horse's tummies. It is gives it an extra, an extra mucus covering uh, in the stomach and actually when uh, benefits has benefited greatly from it. I've noticed a huge difference when she just can get a little cranky and if she's off of it, um, but this has made a big difference. Um, but essentially I give two teaspoons uh, twice a day in their feed and uh, you can see a big difference it's, and it's fairly cheap. So it's, it's one thing that I like to add to my horse's feed to help for gastrointestinal, especially if they're traveling a lot. And humans can can uh, take this too and kind of make a tea. It helps for all kind of, everyone's gut, makes everyone's gut better. It's a tub trug. Tub trug? This is called a tub trug. So this is uh, 10 gallons or uh, 38 liters. So when I went over to England, they used tub trugs, which I thought was, was like, huh, that's kind of interesting. They never hung buckets or did anything like that. But being over there, it kind of made a lot of sense because it seemed a lot easier. Uh, one of these tub trugs is the same amount of water that your two five gallon buckets would have. And I found that with those our regular flat buckets, um, they have the hooks on the side. so. Horses can rip their tails, I've had horses rip their nostrils. It can kind of be a safety issue. And this is great because it just goes on the floor. Um, it's easy to drag, it's easy to carry. The horses drink all the water, they enjoy it. They like to drink at ground level, so it's actually better for them as well. Um, they're easy to keep clean. And I just, this has probably been the best, like, the best thing I've had. It's definitely improved. Uh, the how quick we can do things in the barn 
they're very, very handy. They come in several different sizes, so you can soak your alfalfa cubes in them. Um, they're pretty collapsible, so in packing in my trailer, you know, my buckets took up a fair amount of space, but if I have just, like I have six, a six horse, so six of these takes up a lot less space. And then also, if you're in a pinch, you can also use these to carry manure, which you couldn't do uh, if you had your five gallon buckets. So, tub trucks, they're amazing. I love them. So looking forward to 2018, have some big goals to do riding wise. Um, hopefully Kentucky in the spring and then we have the Retired Racehorse Project. I will be doing my vlogs weekly as well. It's been a lot of fun documenting not only just the journeys and the traveling um, and the stories of all the horses, but it's also been a lot of fun. Um, sharing and educating and as well as all the feedback that you guys have given me. So if you don't want to miss a video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and that way you won't.